Man, look at her there, just staring at me. Oh, that's creepy. What the? Oh, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the Dagger of Almond Ra. Last time, we uh, discovered a couple more deaths. Yvette, sadly, is dead. And the evidence kind of points to Steve, although, um, there was someone who plotted to murder her before, threatened, whatever. And now we have the Countess, and we have found some grapes by her. And uh, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting here looking at the Countess again when I already finished that up before. Well, there's something I forgot to do. And this is important. You do not want to miss this. You miss this, you will lose the game. You need to look with a magnifying glass. Smelling salts. Indeed they are. The scent of the smelling salts is overpowering at this close range. Now, so something I wanted to mention that I actually recently remembered. Remember we were talking about to uh, Wolf and what well, we were talking to them. We were listening to Wolf and uh, Dr. Miklo speaking to each other. And um, Wolf was saying that he would uh, murder the Countess and leave it somewhere for Dr. Miklos to find. And uh, well, here she is tied up on Dr. Miklos' desk, dead. That really puts him high on the suspect list, though. We did find those grapes. And uh, Detective Riley is fond of grapes. You anyway. pick it up and place it in your purse. Yeah, you do not want to miss those, because once you leave this room, like I said, you don't get another chance. Yeah, I was mistaken before. It's only, like, the moment you look at her, then that's when everything's irreversible. You can still put the snake in and then leave. Because if you need to get more snake oil, you can do it before looking at the Countess. A bottle of Dr. Moribund's guaranteed snake oil. It's one quarter full. Alright, awesome. So let me show you the things that you will need after this part, next part of the game. You need the wire. You need the snake lasso. You need the uh, wire cutters, you need the snake oil, of course, I showed you, you need the lamp, and um, you need the cheese. And also, you need those hieroglyphics in your notebook, every single one of them. Alright, so let's get on with... The beginning of Act 5. Where things will get cray cray. Rex takes a bite out of crime. Why the heck is it called that? Well, you will find out soon. You're a model of investigative brilliance. We salute you, Laura. Oh, I hope I can do this. Okay, I can't save right now. If you couldn't tell by that music, something not good is happening. Long story short, we are now being chased by the killer. And, uh, we have to do a lot of things to get away from him, so... Yeah, there he is. Laura's running. Go, Laura. Okay, close these doors. Here's why you need the wire. Aw, oh, man, this... My heart is pounding right now, this part. Okay, go. You can close this that down. Now this is only going to slow him down, this is not going to stop him. Now push this chair. Open this. No. Open, open it, Laura. The door is locked. Okay. But there's nothing else we can do with that. That's going to distract him. Okay. Come over here. Him or her. Sorry, I'm not... We know that's the killer. Okay. And in comes the killer. Doesn't see us. We're hidden, so the killer goes back. You hear the sound of someone breaking down a door in the next room. Ah, so he thought that we'd gone in through there. Okay, let's hurry over. Okay. Now, like I said, we can f we can finally go in here after quite some time. Okay, now push this. Use where the wire cutters come into play. Take them. While this is, a you have to. While this is, cut the while right this place. is, it there we go. That took not take too long. Okay. Now that door's blocked. Push that. Secret entrance. So I'm not explaining too much, but this is. You cannot go. 
a no relaxing elevator ride. Whew. Not gonna rack it a little bit, but not for too long. Alright. Oh, the elevator's going up. That means somebody's calling it. Okay, so what we want to do... It's a mummy from the Ptolemaic period, around 330 B.C., whose name was Pooh. His wrappings seem to be in fair condition, but exposure to the air is starting to make them crumble. Pooh, what is this, earthbound? Anyway, okay. Close the door, and here's what you'll do. You pick it up and place it in your purse. You put a mummy in your purse. That is right. It's a mummy from the Ptolemaic period, whose name was... Okay, okay, we get it. Can we... <laughs> There's a whole mummy inside her purse. The mummy's wrappings seem to be in fair condition, but exposure to the air is starting to make them crumble. Okay, okay, we get it. I, I just... I don't... I, I don't... I know... <laughs> Adventure game logic, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, take the mummy... While this is an... In no. Prop it up against that door. Okay. Now, uh, look here. It's the lid to the mummy case of the pharaoh Mackenzie Tep. A snake protrudes from the mummy case's headdress. You remember that the snake is a symbol of Egyptian royalty. <sighs> Alright, so here's what you do. You... Take the snake lasso, get the snake. The snake shifts just a little, and you hear a click. Aha, all right. Now open this up, and we can go in. All right. Raw, Holy raw, cow, what is this? Raw, you hear ominous raw, chanting as you encounter raw, a strange ceremony. <laughs> What is going on? Oh my goodness! <laughs> my thoughts exactly. <laughs> and there go the bugs with their piece of meat. <laughs> and Daisy the ferret. Uh, excuse me, I was looking for the... women's lounge? <laughs> oh yeah, this is what the secret ceremonies are. You're coming with us, young lady. Um... I think you're making a mistake. You've seen too much. We can't let you go. Not to worry. I won't remember seeing this room, or you, or anything. Really. <laughs> I've got a terrible memory. Can't even remember my own name half the time. I'm sorry you found us. Our cult of Amun-Ra must remain a secret. There is too much at stake here. Too many important people are involved. Cult of Amon Ra? In the museum basement? This room is a forgotten part of the original museum. We are safe here, as long as no outsiders are aware of our existence. Oh, well, well my you. lips are sealed. If you want to dance and sing and have little meetings down here, <laughs> that's your business. Not the right you thing You cannot to say, be Laura. trusted, Miss Bo. You're a newspaper reporter. We could be a featured article on page one of tomorrow's newspaper if we let you go. But people are going to miss me. They'll search the museum. The police will never find this room or your body. Uh, Laura does not look entertained by that notion. Wrong, wrong. You don't really plan to kill me, do you? Of course not. Oh. <gasps> what a relief. That's good. Kill is such an ugly word. Actually, we're going to sacrifice you to Amon-Ra. Oh, darn. Can we talk about this? <laughs> there is nothing to discuss. You should be proud to die in such an honorable fashion. Um, Young Egyptian maidens not. used to fight for the privilege of being sacrificed to the great Amon-Ra. Well, how do we know Laura's a maiden? Now, wait a minute. I thought the ancient Egyptians didn't make human sacrifices. Hmm. You're familiar with the history of ancient Egypt, Miss Bo? 
Well, I've learned a few things. Perhaps we could test you. Do I have any other options? We can test you or sacrifice you. It's your choice. Let's do the test. I'm liking this idea more and more. <laughs> what kind of a test is it? Amon Ra may choose to intervene on your behalf. It is our tradition that we must let you live if you can answer Amon Ra's riddle. Great. Of course, you'll have to answer the riddle with hieroglyphics. And that's what we need. I was afraid it would be something like that. Okay. What's the riddle? Actually, it's a two-part riddle. Oh, perfect. What is the room you leave without entering? All right. So, remember that um, big poem that was on uh, Dr. Miklos's chalkboard? It has the answers to both the riddles that we're going to be provided. They're hidden in there. The first answer: W O M B. That's correct. Now, the second riddle. What is the room you enter without leaving? And it's the second part, so, uh, I wish I had the, the whole, like, uh, translation of that thing right in front of me right now so I could read it back to you, but I don't. But have the words room and tomb. Very impressive. You are the first person who ever answered that riddle correctly. The wise Amon Ra apparently wants us to spare your life. Sure does. Will you swear to keep our location a secret? Of course. <laughs> then sure you may you will, leave. Laura. May the great Amon Ra guide your footsteps. Thank you. Now I just have to outrun the person who's been chasing me. Who is chasing you? Do you think they'll find their way in here? I'm not sure who it is, but I believe it's the same person who stole the dagger of Amon Ra from its display case. And I'm sure they'll find their way in here. Well, that's partly true and partly if not. If that is true, they will not leave this room alive. I suggest you leave through our secret escape route behind the altar. Go now and remember your promise. All right, let's go. Escape route. Alright, so, uh, what do we do down here? Let's check this out. Obviously not that. Let's try something else. This door is locked, and you don't have the proper key. Dang it. Okay, let's, uh, see what this is. The stone resists your best efforts to move it. Oh, wait a minute. What's this down here? There's an unconscious man in the coal bin. Although the coal has dirtied his face and hair, it looks suspiciously like Steve. Oh, I recognize that boo. Steve, being the large, unconscious type stevedore he is, is immovable in his current unconscious state. And he's got coal all over his body. Okay, so that is why you need the smelling salts. Let's grab those and use them. While this is an while this ah. while this while this while this while this is an interesting approach, it serves no practical purpose. Ah. Steve being the la Steve. Okay, that took forever. You actually have to uncover his face with the hand icon right here. You click any other part, it doesn't work. Alright, and then you give him the smelling salts, which I almost missed. And, whew, all should be well and good here. Ow! Or not. What happened? Steve appears to be in great pain. Yeah, you don't give him his foot, his, um, boot right then. He steps on something and goes across. It appears to be a tall Caucasian male with smallish paws and good muscle tone. <laughs> Laura, now's not the time. 
you get no response. Yeah, he goes unconscious. And uh, if you wait long enough... Well, it's not happening, but if you do wait long enough, you'll hear gunshots, and eventually, the killer will come in and shoot you. So let's do try that again, and let's uh, let's do it right. And cover his face. Smelling while salts. this is, while this is, come on, while this, uh, so touchy with that. Uh, okay, before he gets out of the bin, give him his boot. Now, from what I've heard, if you don't collect it in the hallway, it will actually be found here. Don't know if that's true or not. I've always found it in the hallway, but whatever. Okay, we should be good now. Oh, my head. What happened? So he was knocked Mara. out and thrown down the chute. Yes, Steve. I was so worried about you. Are you all right? I think so. I remember hearing somebody coming up behind me, and as I turned around, somebody slugged me. Cripes, my head hurts. Who did that? They must have dumped you down the coal chute. Let me see where you were hit. Aww. I'm alright, I'm alright. Don't touch it. Honestly, you men can be such crybabies. Do you <laughs> think you can walk? We have to get out of here. Somebody's been murdering everybody in this museum, and whoever it is is after me. I, I can make it. I'm with you. Where do we go? Good question. Okay, and it's at this point... That you want to click on this, and now with both of your help, you can move it. Whew. All right. Oh no. You know what I forgot to do? Oh, I hope I can still do it. I look at their eyes. That's kind of creepy, actually. Okay. Turn on the lamp. That's just really creepy. Oh no. Yes, this is why you needed that last quarter of snake oil because those escaped cobras that uh, Dr. Miklos was talking about, they made their way into this passage. Through the snake oil? They do not like that and they will turn away and there seem to be hieroglyphics on this wall. That's weird. Not important. Alright. Look at Steve. <laughs> And here's why you need the cheese, because, uh... You hear the sound Ooh. of gunfire from the direction of the furnace room. Sounds like someone's chasing us, Laura. Sure does. Alright. This is why you need the cheese. Take it, throw it into this room. No time to explain. If you look at this room, you'll talk, it'll talk about light and heat coming from it. This is a place where that enters the furnace. Somehow, some way. I don't know why. It just does, and they all chomp You watch in relief as the last of the rats scurries out of sight. You can barely smell an unpleasant odor, like burning hair. Oh dear. Now we want to make our way through this door right here. And where will that lead us? Oh, you just wait. That is right. This room exit out of Rex's mouth. And what do you do now? The killer's coming after you. Press the button. Make him talk. And... There you go. And who is the killer? Who is it that has been committing all these crimes? Well, they know, do you?